Anybody that's ever ordered a Toki bow knows how exciting it is when they come home and see this PVC pipe sitting on their front porch. I know that I am. This is the second bow that I've purchased from Dan and i um, very, very happy with the first one I purchased. It's the Whip. This one here is the Whistler and Whistler. And I um, hear a lot of good things about it. It's a shorter bow. Um, I purchased this from him. Ooh, I put the order in maybe, maybe six weeks ago. He really can turn them out pretty quick. Um, this one here I ordered in, um, Myrtle and of course the black linen Marcata, Marcaida, probably saying that wrong. So let's crack this thing open and uh, take a look at her. We'll do it together here, huh? So, so. It's just like the other one that comes in these vinyl, he puts them in these vinyl sleeves. It usually has two strings with them. Yeah, down there at the other end. Yeah, he has uh, two strings, and uh, he sent me a bow stringer, too. He writes the brace heights. He makes his own strings, too. They're, they're, uh, they're interesting. They're, they're really, really thin. Um, you know, he writes the brace heights on there like that. So, anyway, let's take a look at what we got. We'll see it the first time together here. Oh yeah, that myrtle looks nice. Oh yeah, she's a beaut. She is beautiful. That is a good color combination right there. Or a wood combination, I should say. Yes, sir. Dan and Jared Toki, they, they really do turn out works of art, you know. That's what they are. They're like little works of art. Very functional, but just beautiful to look at. And uh, they get them done so surprisingly fast for a handmade custom bow I'm talking six to seven weeks and uh, you know I don't know what, what it's like with anybody else but uh, with the whip too it was it was really snappy I had it you know this is his uh, the Whist Whistler Whistler is, is what it's named 
um, is his new model. I believe he introduced this in 2018. And what it is is a uh, longer version of the, the Pica. Um, I don't own a Pica. I don't know anybody that owns one either, but uh, I hear good things about that too. So this one's 60 inches. And um, I've always shot a 62 inch bow and I'm just now recently starting to explore shorter bows. Uh, I think we're gonna give it a, a go here. We're gonna string it up and uh, see what it feels like. I'm excited. Yes, yes, beautiful, beautiful. See how thin the string is that he makes? Super thin. He ties also ties on these string silencers and a knock. But they're uh, very thin. All right, let's go. Let's go shoot it. All right, it shoots as good as it looks. It really does. I'm very impressed with this bow. It's very fast. I didn't put it on a scale, but um, of course I I purchased it at 53 pounds. I'm, I'm very curious. To, it almost feels like 54, 55, to be honest with you. Um, it's a bit of weight to it. It's It's quick. Very, very nice. I'm very impressed with this. I was shooting um, some 500 spline arrows with uh, 200 grain, 250 grain field points. Um, and they flew pretty good out of it. Uh, nice, fast, quick bow. It looks and shoots good okay it shoots as good as it looks let's put it that way all right all right guys thanks for joining me on this uh unboxing i would call it can't really give you too much of a review on this bow but uh for what i've shot so far and overall right now i'm, I'm giving it two thumbs up it's really really nice it, it shoots as good as it looks um, my next step is I'm gonna bear shaft tune some arrows for this bow and uh, really run it through the paces see what she can do for me see you guys on the next one